This show is about empowerment. This show is about solutions. This show is about truth. So don't call up and talk about what you think the truth is. No, we're only going to deal with what the truth is, right? And if you don't agree with me, that's fine because I really don't have a problem with disagreement. What I have a problem with is people who want to give dissertations on the radio. And if you call a show, because I've heard people, oh, thank you so much for letting me talk. If people let you talk for five minutes, number one, they're not listening to you. They're tweeting. They're eating. I know because I've sat on radio shows with people. They probably, probably went to the bathroom. And they'll come back and you're still talking. They don't want to have a dialogue with you. They don't even care what you're saying. And you'll know because they won't say anything but thank you and go to the next caller. They're not even engaging. If that's what you want, there are plenty of shows where you can do that. I can give you some some hit, hints. But if you want to call here and have a dialogue, have something to offer. Because it's not really even about me. It's about the people who are listening who are driving in their cars on their way home or listening on demand, they want to be furthered. They don't want you to repeat the last thing that 10 other people just said. So if you don't have anything new to add, don't call. And don't call every day with the same thing. Because that's the other thing people don't want to hear, serial callers. I don't want to hear it. I already probably know what you think. If you've called here 10 times, I already know where you're going. Surprise me. Surprise us. So I got home last night and, you know, I, th- I think, I, you know, I deconstruct, kind of go through the show in my head because I'm, I'm anal like that. And, and I realized something, a couple of callers called up, people who didn't have melanin and who wanted to, you know, kind of talk about how thuggish Mike Brown was and all this other stuff. And I wouldn't let them talk. You know, I just cut them off and went on, uh, said some choice words and went on to the next uh, subject. And I said to myself, you know, like, what, what's their point? And then it dawned on me, we have a truth problem in this country. So I want to deal with that, not just today, every day, but I want to lay the foundation. I want to talk about truth today. So I'm not big on science or math, but I, I try to study as much. I try to know a little bit about everything, you know, because I know it all. Yeah, I know. So in, in science and math, we have certain truths. Those of you who study it, you know what I'm talking about. And you probably know it even deeper than what I'm, what I'm about to say. And I'm all for the science and math folks to call me up today and give me even more insight into this. But they call them constants, right? And so in math, they they have this thing called the golden ratio, which is represented by the number 1.61803. It's a constant. We see this number represented in the number of petals in a flower, the number of seeds in a pomegranate, the swirl around the shell, how many times that goes around. It's, it's something that's called the Fibonacci sequence. When you look at a person and you think that they're beautiful, it's because the mathematical equation on their face is equal on both sides, which is virtually impossible. But if someone's really beautiful and it's universal, this is a universal constant. I don't care what their race is. It's because there's symmetry. What is on one side of the equation is equal on the other side of the equation equation and that is like the Fibonacci sequence of perfection there's also this thing called pi we've all heard about pi if you've taken a simple math class you know that pi is represented by the number 3.14 it too is a constant it measures the circumference of a circle to its diameter and it never changes it will always be 3.14 3.14 is actually an infinite number that I don't have time to read all the numbers because we'll be here in infinitum it's a constant it's truth it never changes in chemistry there is a gas constant and it's represented by the number 0.0821 and it too goes on infinitely or the letter r and it's a universal constant it's a physical constant which is featured in many fundamental equations in physical science in order to calculate the volume of a gas you must have this constant this number this r We couldn't build buildings without these constants, bridges. And if the number was wrong or off, bridges would crumble. Things would not function. Things would blow up. In math and science, in nature, there are these universal truths, these constants, without which we would not exist. We would not be able to function as a society. We need to have universal truths and constants in our culture, in our history. And so yesterday when we were talking, I realized we don't have this. This is why stuff's blowing up. This is why things are crumbling. This is why we're doomed and destined to not 
succeed because we continue to perpetuate lies. We don't uphold the universal truths, no matter how un- uncomfortable they are. You may not like the truth. It may hurt you. It may make you feel bad about yourself, but the truth is the truth is the truth as pi is always going to be 3.14, as the golden ratio is always going to be 1.61803, as the gas constant is always going to be 0.0821. We need a universal truth in our lives. Truth in our